Hey, I'm John. Welcome to That Green Life. Just want to go over a couple quick things today to get your season started and what you might want to be planning. But first, I need some coffee. So we're gonna talk pre-emergence. Now, the product I'm gonna be using this year is gonna be prodiamine. Uh, I've ordered it from yardmastery.com, but you can get a couple other different kinds. Uh, active ingredient would be prodiamine. Uh, Dithiapure is another one. What it is, is it's a, a herbicide, a selective herbicide. We're gonna spread out on our lawn. We're going to water it in, and then it's going to help prevent specific weeds from germinating. Now, I'm in Southeast Michigan, and our biggest problem in the springtime is crabgrass. Now, this will help to prevent crabgrass from germinating when you apply it correctly with the right amounts. Uh, other things that can help prevent when we apply it later in the year into the fall are things like poa annua, uh, other nuisance grass-like weeds that you don't want in your lawn. So how do you know when it's time to put down your pre-emergent? Well, the first thing you want to do is start tracking your soil temperatures. I don't want to look at a tool like the Greencast online tool. Uh, just Google Greencast soil temps, you'll find it. Search your area, and you'll be able to start tracking those, those soil temperatures. You just, the average soil temperature will be fine here. Uh, you could also get a, a simple soil, soil thermometer or meat thermometer, stick it in your soil in your yard, uh, and do it that route. I'm just going to kind of track it on the green cast tool, but once it starts reaching that 50, 55 degree mark, it's time to put it down. Why do we want to use 55 degrees? That, that one's easy. At 55 degrees is the point at which your lawn starts to wake up, these weeds start to germinate, they start to pop up, and what we want to do is get it down before that happens so that we can prevent these weeds from germinating into the lawn. Okay, so now we've decided what product we're going to use, we're ready to order it, how much do you need? So. The easiest answer to this is you got to get out, you got to measure your yard. Go out, walk your yard with a tape measure, uh, a rolling wheel, whatever, whatever you got. Go out, measure your yard so you know how much green space you have. You got to make sure you buy the right amount of product. What you don't want to do is buy too much and, and it's a waste or you accidentally put down too much. Some products could damage a lawn uh, or you're going to not buy enough and then you're not going to have the right amount of protection that you're looking for. Uh, what I did. I just went out to the big box store, got myself a little walking wheel, walked the property, measured it, knew exactly how much grass I had, drew a little property map with the three sections. I got my what I call my front yard, I got my side yard, and then I have my backyard. And I have a little small section they call beyond the fence. Uh, it's just an area that I occasionally treat, but I don't put as much into it as the rest of the yard. But you got to know how much yard you have so you know you're buying the right amount of product. Just wanted to show you the Greencast soil temperature map. 
So if you go to Google, just type in Greencast soil temperatures, it should be the first link. Or you can go to greencastonline.com, uh, get to the soil temperature maps. It's going to look a little bit like this. On the right side of the screen, you have a, a color gradient map that's showing the current soil temperatures. On the left, you search your area. I just did Detroit for uh, Southeast Michigan overall temp. It'll show today's current average, a five-year average and a 10-year average. I prefer to use the five-year average. And to get a general idea of what your temperatures are and when you're going to potentially reach that 55, that 50 degree mark to, to put it down as you're approaching 55 degrees, you're going to want to go back to the previous year because obviously you can't start searching into the future for something that hasn't occurred yet. So go back, go a year ago, I, I looked back April 22nd just now and the five-year average was 50 degrees. So about the end of April, it looks like, is when we're going to start hitting that that 50 degree mark moving toward 55 and that's going to be a good time to to put down that pre-emergent for southeast Michigan uh, obviously if we hit a, a good warm snap here uh, before that that looks like it's going to extend and continue and we got an early spring might have to adjust that and go earlier so right now I'm looking at probably about the end of April I'm going to be putting down that pre-emergent here in southeast Michigan. Just wanted to give you a, a quick view of that. So one other thing here, real quick, just wanted to show you the yard map that I drew for myself. It doesn't have to be pretty. Mine certainly isn't. I have never been accused of being an artist. Draw uh, a rough sketch of your house where your sidewalk is, driveway. Uh, if you have a deck, something like that, draw out the, the non-green space areas. And then what you want to do is just put in your measurements for those other areas so that as you're planning, you know about how much square footage you have for how much product you're going to need to buy. And when you go to apply it, you know how much to apply into each section of your yard to give it the best coverage so that it can grow the best and strongest that you, you can get it to do. So that, that's what mine looks like. If you're more artistic, good on you. Uh, we got out in the yard today, we measured it, created a yard map, drew up a, just draw up a quick little map so you can have a reference later on as to what size each section is. So we've created our yard map, we've measured out the green space, we've decided what product we're going to apply first as far as pre-emergent goes, so there you go, first step's done. I'll see you in the next one guys, thanks for watching.